Hello, welcome to my new tutorial series in Fairfax. I will divide this series into different sections. In this section, I will teach you how to do the calculus, the calculus for beginners. Each lesson will be divided into two versions. One version is in English, just like this, and the other lesson will be in Cantonese, in Chinese. The first lesson will be in English. If you want to watch the Cantonese, please watch the next lesson. Then in here, I have all the video of my YouTube, about 200 and something videos. You can visit this website. The website is a certain form of the long website. 好啦，欢迎大家翻翻嚟我 YouTube 新嘅一个数学系列嘅 videos 啦。喺呢个 video 里边啦，我将会分成好多个数学嘅主题啦。咁其中一个主题啦，今次呢一个主题咧，将会系 calculus 呢个主题嘅。咁就 for beginners， 即係未積分嘅一個初階。而每一個課文我將會有英文版啦，同埋廣東話版嘅。咁呢一課呢，就將會用英文版教授。咁廣東話版啦，將會喺下一節嘅出現。咁如果你想睇晒我所有嘅 YouTube 嘅頻道嘅話啦，你亦都可以去呢以下呢個 website。咁以下呢個 website 啦。就係、是、一個 s h o r t e n form， 一個短較短嘅 website 嘅 form， 真正嘅 website 好長嘅，我就將佢縮短咗，用嗰啲啊 software 幫佢縮短咗，就擺一下低俾大家去細心欣賞。In this course, we contain the following topic: Introduction to Calculus, Lesson Two, the basic reviews of function and its graphics, the limit or, or the limitation of a function, the continuities of the function, and finally the derivative and the integration of the function. 嗱，呢一課 calculus for beginners， 即係初階微積分嘅。嘅時候啦，啊課程啦，包括有微積分嘅介紹啦，啊函數和其圖表達嘅方式啦，用一啲 graphic 去表達一啲函數圖表去表達函數啦，函數嘅極限啦。我係叫 limitation 或者 limits 咯，函數嘅連續性我係叫 continuous 或者 singularity of function 咯，微分啦同埋積分究竟係啲乜嘢嚟？咁喺個 introduction 嘅 course 咧就會講解到啦。當然啦。而家呢個 course 咧將會係以英文為主嘅。This course will be continuous in English, Cantonese version in the other tutorials. The online website to help you to plot graph. Sometimes you have a function and then you want to plot a graph. You can go、uh, use your pencil and a graph paper draw the and plot the graph. Or you can use an online website. This online website can provide you some method that you can plot the graph much easier. So you can copy this website. I press Ctrl C to copy this website, and then I go to a website. Okay, you can paste the link here, and then press Enter. After a while, you can see this website. For example, if you want to plot a graph like this, you want to plot a function y equal to x minus two squared plus three. So you put the function in this box. I walk back to the website. I put the function in this box. Put the specter here, x minus two, and then by the powers of two, you use this symbol. For the power sign, power of two, and then plus three, right? So you want this function x minus two square plus three. You put it in here. You can see it's x minus two square plus three, and then press enter. When you press enter, you can draw a graph. This the graph is part of this function. So you can use this website to follow us much easier. In lesson one, introduction to calculus, you may need to prepare the following things: a lot of blank paper that you can do the math in a paper, in a piece of paper, rather than using the computer. Trust me, use a piece of paper and you by your handwriting to do the mathematics. You will remember the mathematics and you will understand the mathematics more deeply than you are using a computer to do the mathematics for you. And you need some piece of graph paper. Sometimes you have to draw a graph. Ah,、uh, to plot the graph of the function, use the paper, the graph paper to draw the graph. Let's use the computers do more thing in the paper, and you get to memorize all the thing more easier. Pens in at least two color. You have a red pen, a blue pen, or a black pen, so you can plot the graph different part. Ah,、uh, different function in a piece of graph paper. You can see the difference, and also the What we call the solution or the intersect point of the two graph, and optionally you have to get a cup of coffee in case you are very sleepy. Now I'm teaching you how to plot a graph of a function. Let's say if you got a function f of x equal to x plus three, it's a function f of x equal to x plus three, and then you use a piece of paper. 
Lula. Draw something like this. And then you mark down this the y axis and the x axis. So y is a function of x. Okay, and then you mark down the marking 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This one is 0. And this one is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and minus 4. Minus 3 and minus 4. This one is 1, 2, 3, 4. In the y axis, 1, 2, 3, 4. In the negative direction as well. So we don't need the negative direction in this case. So I just give this marking and then you draw a table. Draw a table like that. So this one is X, and this one is Y. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you put the values of X equal to minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, and three. Okay, if x equal to minus 3, you put minus 3 into this x. So minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. Minus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. Okay, and then you just um, get two points. I like this two points. The point is minus 3, 0. Minus 3, 0 is this point. Okay, and then the other point is 0, minus 3. Sorry, 0 and 3, 0 and 3 is point. Okay, because this is a linear equation, this is what we call is a linear equation of a linear function. So we draw a linear. Linear is a straight line. Draw a straight line like this. Okay, and this straight line is equal to f of x equal to x plus 3. Okay, uh, in a piece of paper, you can do all of this. Okay, in a piece of paper. And then you can plot the graph. And also you can use a, a piece of graph paper, what we call a graph paper. Let's see. If we got a graph paper like this, we have the function of x equal to x plus 3. And then a graph paper, because we are uh, in a graph paper, you have all the marking. So you can draw two straight lines, the coordinate system. Your right hand side, and then zero is three marking is one, two, three, four. And this minus one, minus two, minus three, and minus four. This is one, two, three, four, etc. This is the fx. This one is x. Okay. And then you do the marking in the table, uh, the last table, this table, this table. Okay. And then put the value in this table. This one is minus 3, 0, and 0, 3. Also draw a straight line. With the help of the graph paper, the straight line will be more exactly what you want. It's a straight line. And then this is the function of x equal to x plus 3. This is how you draw a graph. So you can use a graph paper, a piece of paper, and then... Um, the table like this to create to plot the graph like this or you can also using the online software or the online website to help you to plot the graph but of course uh, I recommend you to use a graph paper and do the math yourself so you can remember and you understand for free how to plot the graph of a function so now we go back to the first lesson of introduction to calculus Anyway, we continue with our um, tutorials, calculus for beginner. We will go through each topic one by one. For this lesson, we will go through this topic, introduction to calculus. Okay, so what is calculus? You may ask, what is calculus? What, what is that? You may find that the calculus is a very different from much of the mathematics that you have learned so far. Okay, why is that? What is calculus? In here, because calculus is a mathematics that deal with the changes. If something is not changes, you don't need calculus. So I will give you this example. If you have, uh, if you have to drive a car, or if you drive a car that goes exactly 36 kilometers per hour, 
that means 10 meters per second, for 3 hours, 10,800 seconds. If you want to find out the distance that you have traveled, it is easy. Just use the 36 km per hour, multiply by 3 hours, and you get 108 km. Or you can do it in the second. 10 meters per second, times 10,800 seconds, you got 108,000 meters. That's equal to 108 km. It's nice and easy, right? But this is not changes because from the beginning of the, your journey to the end of your journey, you're using the same speed, 36 km per hour. So it's nothing changed. So the above question is not calculus at all. Another example is that if you encounter a traffic jam after the first hour, that means in the first hour you travel 36 km per hour. And after that, encounter a traffic jam, then you are forced to drive slower, even slower than you go by bike. Now, your speed is only 3 km per hour for another hour. That means the second hour, the speed of your car is only 3 km per hour. After that, you drive at a speed of 72 km per hour. That means from the end of the second hour to the beginning of the three hours, you drive at 72 km per hour. So now, after three hours of driving, what is the distance, what is the displacement of your car or of your journeys? In this case, the speed of your car is changing from time to time. So you need calculus. If you want to answer the above question, the changing is happening in this question, you then need calculus. I'll give you another example of uh, calculus. If you have a balloon, the volume of the balloon, the volume of the ball, assume that the shape of the balloon is nearly uh, is similar to a speed. But of course, it's not true, right? You know that. Then we have the following equation for the volume in terms of R, where R is the radius of the ball, of the balloon. The volume equal to 4 over 3 pi R quid. If the balloon is shrinking with type, go by. So what will be the changing of its radius with time go by? We will have to use the foreign derivative equation. It's very complicated, right? That is why you have to learn calculus to solve this kinds of problem. And in the calculus, there are many tools in the calculus. The most powerful tools of calculus are as follows. It's the limit of the function, derivative of the function, and the integration of the function. But of course, there are many other tools as well, but these three tools is very important in calculus. So you have to pay attention when you learn how to do the limit, how to do the derivative, and how to do the integration. So what is limit? Limits describe the characteristic of a function when the independent variable x of the function approach value. Derivative describing the changes of a function and the integration give us the area underneath of a function, usually it's a curve function. So after this introduction, you may realize that calculus can be very difficult. So please be patient. We will walk you through all of this in this series of tutorials. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Zaijin. Ha qi jiang wei hai yi zhongman guangdonghua hui dou bei da ge tiang ge.